I've been receiving some messages through YouTube from people who don't know how I built this motor. Okay, here is an overview. Here is the beginning of the pack going to that multimeter. This multimeter has a red prong, which is the beginning. That's where the current enters. Now the current being drawn right now is from 0.03105 to 0.01. So an average of 0.03 amps. And here is the reading from the multimeter. From 0.02 to 0.05 amps. Into the coil are 126 conductors connected in series by this method shown. Twenty-five packs, each having eight AA batteries. Every time you see this nine-volt battery connector here, this is connecting a series of eight AA rechargeable batteries to another one. Now, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is a fan blade and a screw. 10, 12, 14, up to 17. 17, up here we have eight plus 17. That's 25 packs, like I said. It's a washer and another nut. Here is another nut holding uh, the shaft against this bearing that so it doesn't slide any forward. Underneath the bearings are batteries that I use for support and on top of the bearings I have twist ties also for support. Same on the other side. The voltage I have I have 217 volts right now. That's after just having run it. So, when I come back later, it would take a while, but it will go back to 240 something volts. Okay? Remember, I have 200 AA rechargeable batteries, and I'm having a little bit less than 220 volts in total after having turned this off before letting it go back to 240. So I have about 1.1 volts per AA rechargeable battery. The rechargeable batteries normally are 1.2 volts because they are nickel metal hydride rechargeable batteries. That is their normal voltage, 1.2. I'm down to 1.1 per battery right now. I have this fan blade, it's metal, it's usually used for cars, but this time I'm using it here, and this is the wing nut again, and there's some tape inside, and, and the bolt is over there, Some ta the tape I wrapped around the shaft to hold the fan in place, I screwed the wing nut, and the fan is stable. So that's basically it. I mean, that's all it is. It's not complicated. The, the key part is just getting the parts, then putting them together. It's not hard. Okay, now looking behind here, we have a protractor. I'm using this for support and I held it by twist ties. You can hardly see it, but it's there. I can turn this off for a moment. Okay. 
here you can see there's a protractor that I use for support. This is like a skeleton for it because these wires alone don't hold up to the weight of this motor. Again, here are some neodymium magnets, which are, have been abused a lot. Got some chips, but they still work like I need them to. And um, I have some glued parts here. Yeah, uh, I glued the uh, screw in so that it doesn't slip. Now with super glue, so. Again, here is the supports. The tape is a bit worn out. And again, there are the connections there. Again, the carbon brush connects back to the coil. So, all right. It's not, there's not much to this at all.